Hi, this is Dr. David I. Minkoff from LifeWorks Wellness Center in Clearwater, Florida. Today I want to talk to you about various diagnostic methods and ones that we use to help us to figure out what is going on with the patient. Normally, the story we hear is that a patient went to a very competent medical doctor, had a thorough history and physical examination, had laboratory tests that included a chemistry panel and a CBC, and the doctor could not make a diagnosis based on that, on those findings. That the patient was normal and the doctor thought there was something psychosomatic or it was stress or it was something like that. Now occasionally there may be joint pain, there may be stomach problems, there may be headaches, there may be poor sleep, there may be fatigue, but there may be pain, but the tests don't show anything. And so I found this too in my prior career that I would look at a patient and do a thorough examination and, a, and not find really what was wrong. And my laboratory test didn't tell me either. So along the way, I ran into another diagnostic method. And this diagnostic method is called nutritional response testing. And I found that this helped me more than any other single, single thing that I could do to figure out what was wrong with the patient. Now the idea of this is that if we look at the body as a biocomputer, and this biocomputer has sets of reactions that it produces in response to various things that are going on with it. And we can look at these responses, and by, by testing the responses, we can tell what is it that's bothering or stressing the body. Because obviously someone who's got hypertension, or arthritis, or constipation, or fatigue has something wrong. And in order to help find what's wrong, what we need to do is find out what part of the body is not functioning, what is the body responding to that isn't normal. And so we can do this by testing the body's response to stress. And one of the things that the body does in response to stress is that it produces a reflex. Now a reflex you're all familiar with. If I take a hammer and I bop my arm, it jumps. This wasn't a thought computation to jump my arm. It's a circuit within the nervous system that when I hit here or I bump in front of my knee, it jumps. Now, that is a nerve reflex. Well, we can use the same mechanism of nerve reflexes and ask the body questions and see what the nerve reflexes do. And so the first question that we're asking the body is, is it able to regulate itself? Is it able to produce a sympathetic stress reaction when it needs to? And is it able to produce a parasympathetic, a digestive, sleep, restorative reaction when it has to? And if it can't, then there's a problem going on with it. And that problem has to do with those three causes of disease that we talked about earlier. The body, we know then, if, this, if, this, if the body cannot regulate itself properly, that the body then is suffering from probably a mixture of things that it's deficient in that it needs, things that it's got that it shouldn't have, toxicities, and things that it's reacting to that it shouldn't react to, allergies. And so we can test the body with this and find out what's the body's priority? What is it that's bothering the body the most? Okay. Now we do this through a nutritional response test. The response has to do with testing muscles to see what makes them strong and what makes them weak. If you want to do this experiment at home, you can do it. Have someone hold their arm out strong, test it, make sure that it's strong. Have them take a cell phone, turn it on, hold it on their chest. Most people, when that happens, if you test the arm, the arm will go weak. It's a stress response. The electromagnetic frequencies in the phone are touching the body. They, they cause a stress reaction in the body, and that stress, stress reaction causes a temporary nerve shutoff at the motor end plate of the deltoid muscle, and the muscle will go weak. Now, it can be overpowered. You can get somebody to hold it up no matter what, but if you do it and you don't try to overpower it, you just hold normal strength, you'll find it goes weak. Now, we can use this, and we can ask the body the question, what is stressing you the most? Because that's the thing that we want to find out, because when we find this out, we will be able then to do our therapeutic interventions targeted at this thing. 
Now, most people we see who have chronic illness, diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, problems with gutter constipations, problems with energy, problems with sleep, problems with mood, all have layers of problems that the body is struggling with. And what we want to do, first of all, is get the top layer. Maybe it's a bad tooth. Maybe it's a bad bacteria in their gut. Maybe they have a parasite. Maybe they're missing vitamin D or magnesium. But to find out what that is, correct it. Retest the body. Find out what the next item is. The next item might be that they've got mercury in their liver or that they've got chemicals or dioxins or something in their thyroid. Handle that problem using nutrition. Fix that problem. Go to the next one, the next one, the next one. What we find is through a series of these therapeutic interventions based on this testing, what we get is the body then begins to start to regulate itself. The fatigue gets better, the sleep gets better, the mood gets better, the energy goes up, the joints stop hurting as bad. Because these are really the underlying causes which are affecting the body and when we get these underlying causes handled, the body will improve or get better. So instead of using pharmaceuticals to block reactions or to block pain or to stimulate um, energy like caffeine or, or other types of drugs, we get the body to do it itself because we actually improve the functioning of the body and get it back to the way it's supposed to be. This in my mind is how medicine should be and this is what we do here at LifeWorks Wellness Center. To contact us, you can get us on the web www.lifeworkswellnesscenter.com or call us at 727-466-6789. Thanks for your participation and attention.